This year, the theme for International Women's Day is Planet 5050 by 2030. Step it up for gender equality. At the United States Patent and Trademark Office, we're harnessing our efforts to do just that. By promoting innovation across all demographics, we're working hard to ensure that no innovator is left behind. In recent years, we've seen the profound impact that entrepreneurs and technological advancement have on the global economy. At the highest level, it is the mission of the United States Patent and Trademark Office to promote innovation through intellectual property. Innovation is a catalyst for the creation of new businesses with high paying jobs. However, when potential innovators are left behind, there are consequences to our economy and society. It is a commitment of my agency and my country that all inventors, regardless of age, background, or gender, enjoy the protection of intellectual property as they create and invent. Today, women hold less than 25% of science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, jobs in the United States, despite filling close to half of all jobs in the U.S. economy. Women make up only 26% of the computing workforce and only 13% of the engineering workforce. Perhaps most distressing, according to a study dating back more than 30 years, fewer than 15% of the U.S.-based inventors listed on patents are women. At the current rate of convergence, it would take another 140 years to equalize the share of female and male inventors. I have the honor and privilege of serving as the first woman Under Secretary of Commerce for Intellectual Property and Director of the United States Patent and Trademark Office in our agency's 225-year history. And as a woman educated in electrical engineering and computer science who spent the entirety of her career in high technology, I feel a heightened calling to get more girls into science, technology, engineering, and math careers and empower more women to stay in those fields. At a time when our most innovative companies cannot hire the technical talent they need to meet their needs, it's an economic as well as social imperative to nurture and develop all the STEM talent we have. It's why I launched the USPTO's All in STEM initiative to encourage and promote more girls and more women to enter and advance in STEM careers, and why the USPTO offers so many programs to interest and excite our children, boys and girls from all backgrounds in invention, innovation, and entrepreneurship. We can all play a role in this effort, whether as teachers, mentors, or role models. So let us all, starting now, do more to empower girls and women to pursue degrees and careers in STEM for the benefit of our economy, society, and the world.